Hey guys, Skinny Pigs one here. So tonight I have been cleaning cages. It's Monday night and I'm just about to do Velvet's cage. I'm just making up some recovery food with vitamin C in it to hand feed her. So I got her Saturday evening. So she's only been here two nights and she's the most terrified pig I've ever had. Like literally frozen, terrified, not moving in her cage. So I've had scared skittish pigs before that'll be out eating or drinking, but as soon as you come around, they go hide. I haven't even seen her leave her cube. She might have in the night because I noticed some stuff was gone, like just a little bit. But I'm hand feeding her to try to make sure she's getting enough to eat. So for her cage, I haven't even spot cleaned or anything. And for her cage cleaning, I think I need to make some special considerations for her. I'm going to set it up the exact same way. I'm going to keep the beds the same, just change the pads. So that when she gets put back in her cage, it still smells like her. And is the same setup so that she can get used to it. I'm definitely going to take her out of the cage to clean it, which I've never had to do with any of my other pigs before. They've always been okay enough to clean around them to let them get used to that. But she is so scared, so I'm going to set her somewhere safe. Maybe I'll grab a laundry basket and put her in some fleece while I tidy up. And then I'm going to hand feed her and then put her back in her cage. Alright, so I've got a laundry basket. Actually, I think I'll, this is what I've been hand feeding her on. So I think I'll put this down and we'll see. She usually runs terrified as soon as you're moving stuff so I'm going to keep that it's okay velvet it's okay hon you're okay sweetheart yeah she's getting all spooked so I'll try to actually just carry her in the cube and set that cube in the laundry basket okay sweetheart it's okay. It's okay. Good girl. We'll just leave you right in here, okay? Okay, so now a lot of this hay can be saved. So there's poops all around. So that's good. I was trying to make sure that I was feeding her enough and making it easy for her to get hay. And she's definitely had some of her pellets. I wouldn't say a ton, but some. That's better than nothing. Oh, little poop corner here. Okay, see a tomato? She has not touched the tomato. Gave her some green peppers, some wheatgrass, and tomato and radicchio. It's all in the cube. I saw that she ate the wheatgrass. She likes that. I don't know about the other stuff. I'll have to check. So she's been so scared that she hasn't been exploring or like checking out Angus or anything. She's just been staying hidden, which is sad. But apparently she had a lot of moving around in the last week, so I guess it's to be expected. So hopefully soon she'll realize that she's here to stay, and that she can get comfortable with everything. Okay, so where did I put the wood? Oh, right behind me. Let's put the wood logs back on here. So I kind of did this here so it stays like this is hidden, that's hidden. And originally I just had water bottles at the front of the cage, but then I realized that's probably stupid because she's not going to come up here, most likely. She's going to stay back there. Okay. I just need to get another pad to feed her on. So I'm going to check her nails again. I did her nails when I first got her 
And if they aren't cut for a while, sometimes the quick can be pretty long. So I think it's going to take a little bit to get her nails nicely, sh nice and short. Okay, sweetheart. Good girl. Okay. Look at that brown bum. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this out. Hi, pretty girl. Can you come out? Come on out. There we are. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Let's see how your nails look. So her back nails are pretty good. The front ones we're going to take off a bit more. Good girl. So since they're white, I can see the quick. Like we don't... Sometimes you can get the quick to recede back a bit if you keep doing short trims. Good girl. Good girl. You're being such a good baby. Good girl. Okay, I think that's about all we can do safely. Okay. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. So she's an Abyssinian and then she has like the long fur at her bum. And then she has a little brown bum and her brown up on her face. Good girl, you're being great. So she is so much better than when I first put her on my lap. Any little sound and she just about flew off my lap to take off. One reason I do pig stuff on the ground is if they ever jump, they wouldn't hurt themselves. Here. Give you some foods. Good girl. <laughs> choo choo. Good girl. So she likes this stuff. And I've put vitamin C in it. And there is vitamin C already in the mix, but it's not going to hurt her to have extra. So I've had like the washer and dryer going while she's been down here. Because I figured if she's going to get used to stuff, she needs to get used to that right away. That that's a normal sound down here because we do a lot of laundry. I didn't find she was bothered with the washer even when it got a little bit loud. The times I found she was most nervous was when it was almost silent down here and somebody would start drinking from their water bottle or like the heater or dehumidifier would kick on. That seemed to scare her the most. Good girl. So she's good about hand feeding. So she's definitely hungry and wants to have food. She just needs to get past being terrified and to explore more. She feels so soft. What a sweetie. So she doesn't shake when she's on my lap. She seems very comfortable, which is really nice. It's just in the cage. As soon as you set her back down in the cage, sometimes she just freezes. And literally I'll just kind of watch and it's like five minutes goes by and then she finally decides to absolutely just book it to a hiding spot, which is very sad. <laughs> Good girl. Choo choo choo. Good girl. Is that good? Yes. Okay, who's chewing the bars? Oh, bullseye is. That's nothing new. Is that good girl? Well, you're lifting your head up today. You seeing what those sounds are? That's positive. The other day she... Well, the other day she was not really interested in looking around at all. Good girl. That's a good girl. So I'm feeding her with a one mil syringe that I cut the top off and then I sanded down with a nail file so that there's no sharp plastic parts. And that works perfect for slipping into their mouth easily and it not getting clogged. So I used to use a really big syringe but I actually am kind of preferring these small ones because like each syringe is about a mouthful. And it just seems to work a bit easier. So we're using Sherwood Recovery Food. A bit more. So she kind of tells me when she's had enough, she'll push it away or move her head and not take it easily. So I just keep going until she said she's had enough. In the few times I've had her on my lap, she'll start talking a bit. 
so that's kind of cute. And she tells me when she's had enough on my lap too, she starts to look around to go somewhere and I think it's because she has to pee. So I put her back after that. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Yeah, Your eyes aren't so bugged out today and you're looking up. That's so good. Are you not done already, are you? I'd like to get a bit more in. So this is the third time I fed her today. First day she was here I did five times and fed her tons of water, but now I see that that back water bottle has been used. And plus this recovery food has lots of water in it too, so. Aww, you gonna snuggle? That's sweet of you. Yes. You lovely little piggy. Do you want more? It's hard to see your mouth from this angle. Oh, we got it. Choo choo choo. Good girl. That's a good girl. Yes, you are. She seems to really like being pet, which is nice. Yes, good girl. The first two days when she was on my lap, I literally had to keep one hand on her at all times because, as I said, any sound and she was trying to run. But she seems better already, so that's positive. I don't know what I will think the first time I see her actually out of a house. I'd love to see you moving around like a piggy. Hopefully we get there soon. Good girl, you hungry? Yeah, good girl. So I definitely think it's good that I've gotten her probably about so definitely think it's good that I've gotten her probably about a month before Angus will be ready so that she has lots of time to settle in and won't be so terrified of another pig in a new home. So let's hope everything goes well with bonding those two. I mean I'll have other options if say she doesn't get along with Angus. She could go with the herd or once Huckle's neutered. I could even make a trio with Huckle and Apple, although I want Huckle and Apple to go with the herd, so I mean, all three of these guys could go with the herd, and we'd start again with Angus. If Angus doesn't get along with her, I definitely would be getting him a baby girl, because that's pretty much a given. Can we get a little bit more? You telling me no? Okay. She's saying she's done, so... Did you eat any of your pepper? I'd say not. Okay, we're gonna give your cube back. You're doing great. You're doing so much better already. Because before I couldn't reach her over her or around her without her trying to run too. So she's getting better. You pretty girl. Give you some scritches. Are you sure you don't want any more before I put you back? Oh, I do. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. You're such a sweetheart. <laughs> I love you. this piece of hay. Well, who knows if that was a yucky piece of hay or a new piece of hay. So I have got her to eat some pieces of hay by like putting them, starting them with putting them in her mouth. That's the same with the wheatgrass, how I got her used to that was they just would slip it into her mouth and then she'd eat it. Okay, you think you're ready? I probably might feed her again before I go to bed. We'll see. Okay, I gotcha. Don't you worry. You can trust me, okay? 
So maybe, should I put you back in your house? Okay. So I don't want to set you in the cage without your house. Okay. Here you are. So let's put a bit of hay down here. We'll put a little bit of hay over here. There we go. Okay. See, like, she's going to stay in there until I leave, I'm sure. Or until the lights go out. But she's got everything she needs. Lots of hay, some pellets. Maybe I'll fill up the pellets even more. Okay, everything's looking like a disaster. Gotta get cleaning up down here. Okay, you got lots of pellets now, sweetheart. Okay, so I'm gonna go put this in the fridge. You really don't want to keep this stuff more than like 24 hours and I put it in the fridge. Might be risky opening the fridge. Yes, that's what I thought. How dare you open the fridge, mommy? It's not breakfast. It's not breakfast, my cuties. Yes, Rudy. Okay, so we're all finished. Everybody's nice and tidy. Hello, little piglets. Hello, everybody. Hi, Velvet. You can come on out, sweetheart. Love you.